Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a quick get ready with me. I have a couple minutes before I'm running out the door and figured I will do a quick video. I'm gonna show you what brushes I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use three different ones. I end up grabbing the wrong brush going, nope, gotta get this brush. These are the three brushes that I use pretty much every day and I'll showcase them throughout the video. So first I'm gonna go in and color correct. I am using the color Frenchie. This is actually a cheek and lip color, but I like it because it helps to color correct more of the kind of purpley undertones of my eyes. Then I'm going with the color Sunlit and I'm just packing that on. And when I say packing, it's actually a very, very light coverage, but I'm just using that to color correct those dark eye circles. Then I'm taking a Real Techniques sponge and I'm just kind of making sure that all those colors are really blended in. Next, I'm gonna go in the color June. This is a foundation color, but for me, because of my skin tone and my redness, it really helps with camouflaging that redness. So a lot of people use Aspen. Definitely, if you do not have a Saint makeup artist and you are interested in doing a color match and not sure what colors fit for you, then let me know. I will have the jot form down below. You send me a couple pictures and I can figure out colors that are perfect for your skin. So I am using the blend brush. That was the brush that I just used before. I liked it because it is has the least amount of coverage. So if you are somebody who doesn't like a lot of makeup, then the blend brush is going to be perfect. So next I'm gonna go in and I'm smearing the color Ash. This is my contour, um, pretty much on the areas where I want to go contour. And you can see by the palette, I seriously need to melt my makeup tins because it I'm like running out on it. So I'm just putting it slightly above my cheekbones and just doing the smear method. This to me is the easiest method because it's super, super quick and easy. Next, I'm going in with my main highlight shade. This is the color White Peach. So this is the, the main color that I use. If I'm a little bit darker, if I self-tan, self I will do Aurora, but White Peach is the one that I go to pretty much, I would say 90% of the time out of the year. Next, I'm taking a setting spray. This is the Milani, I think it's Get It, I'll link it down below. But basically, I like to do that before I blend because it helps the cream products blend just a little bit easier. But I also like it because it helps them stay all day. So sometimes, because I don't use a setting powder, if I don't use a setting spray, I notice that I don't get as much longevity with my makeup. So I like to do it this way. Next, I'm taking the buff and, no, yeah, the uh, bronzer and blush brush. And so I'm taking the smaller end and usually I like the 3D foundation brush for it, but I'm just using three brushes just because I'm trying to get out the door. I like that one for not only my bronzer, but also my cheek color as well. And I've actually been using the buff and no, the bronzer and blush brush um, for my main highlight shade as well. And it, it just it's just versatile. You can use it for pretty much anything. So next I'm going in with a little bit more of my main highlight shade in White Peach and I'm just putting it on the Real Techniques sponge. And what I like about this is I get very, very precise coverage, but it's not a lot of coverage. Because I do have those dark eye circles, I do like to kind of go in and put another layer on there. And then also in my T-zone and on my nose and on my chin, that is usually where my redness starts peaking. So I go in just a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna do my bronzer. Um, I'm using the color Bella, and this is, I'm gonna take the bronzer and blush brush, and again, using this small side, I'm going to bronze my face and just really add warmth so I look more three-dimensional and it, my makeup doesn't look super flat on my face. So the other thing that I do is I switch the brush around and I go on the big fluffy end and I will take a little bit of bronzer and just bring it down my neck just to make sure that everything is all blended out. Next, I'm gonna take my cheek color. This is the color Pink Lemonade. Unfortunately, it was the color that was being sold for July and it is no longer in stock. I'm hoping that they bring it out back as a permanent color because it has become my absolute favorite color. If you like other options, if you like those kind of baby doll bright pinks, then Baby Watermelon is good. And I think it's, I'll link a couple down below that I think might be a good option. And just make sure that you click down on my job form and fill out the color match request if you wanna get color match. So that is it, hopefully you enjoy the video. Until next time, bye.